week's guests, and the quiz show is introduced by Mike Smith. That's show business. Most kind, that show business is back despite popular demand. The program for which you at home need a pencil and a piece of paper so that you can sit there during the program and write nice letters to that nice Anne Robinson at points of view. <laughs> please, 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 get it off the screen. <laughs> First this week, we will mention our team captains, as we always do, a lady who now brings style and glamour to this shabby Farago, Gloria Hunniford. Are you talking about me? Mm. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm delighted to welcome my team members tonight. Mm -hmm. I ha delighted because I have a lady who could sell you anything, never mind this program, with her wit and charm and intelligence, Linda Bellingham. Mm -hmm. And I have the man who's known as Mr. Talent, but only in Japan. They call him Kiss Talent. <laughs> 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 And now a man who brings to the show a grubby piece of paper with his ad libs written on it, Kenny Everett. <laughs> My first lovely guest is a deeply accomplished lady. She once did the four-minute mile in under three minutes by taking a shortcut, Sylvia Sims. <laughs> <laughs> and my second lovely guest. Well, people are always mistaking this man for a happy chiropodist, because he's always smiling at defeat. Nicky Campbell! It's, it's round one, the questions designed to probe our team members' knowledge of show business. So once again, a quick, pretty quick round coming up here. Kenny, something to take you back to your childhood? The days before you had your wireless set surgically removed from your ear? Listen carefully whilst looking at a photograph. No signs of any Martians yet, I hope? No, Lemmy. Nothing but the wreck and the purple plane as far as the eye can see. You'd never guess there was any kind of life on Mars from this view. Yes, that, that was. was a space show, wasn't it, on radio? When radios used to be wood and they used to glow in the dark. It was called Journey into Space. That was Andrew Folds. Yes. And whenever they were Morgan. short of plot, which was most weeks, they used to just go through an airlock. They'd go, there's probably horrible things out there. Let's go and see. <laughs> <coughs> well, I see, Jock, that we're at the secondary airlock door now. <laughs> and about seven airlock doors. <laughs> and for an extra seven points, <laughs> David Jacobs, the DJ, used to be a character in that show. No. Journey into Space. Yes, yeah. yes absolutely. Yeah. David Jacobs. All of which has got nothing Plus, to do with the question another I was going to another 15 ask. points. <laughs> Just shut your gob. The, the guy who plays the washboard used to be in it as well. He was another character. Derek Geiler. Derek Geiler, yes. Yeah. That's really fascinating, Kenny. Should we ask the question now? Oh. That wasn't the question. <laughs> we are still under Jet well. Morgan, you saw. Yeah. Andrew Folds. Who is he and what job does he do now? That was Journey into Space, wasn't it? Yes, it was during <laughs> space. Yes, yes, after all that, we finally got there. But he's Andrew well, Folds. Uh, yes. What is his job now? Well, from, from space out there, he's now utilising the space between his ears to be a member of Parliament. Oh, wow. Well done, yes. <laughs> yes. Do you, know, do you know which team he plays for? The Red Lot, probably. Labour MP for Wally East. And which MP made this record? You can help me to change the face of British politics. Let's pull our country together instead of tearing it apart. Boy. <laughs> sounds horribly like David Steele. Yes. Maximum points after a fashion there for Kenny Everett. Gloria Hannaford, let's start with some gentle comedy from the last of the summer wine. You go astray with one tiny barmaid. <laughs> oh, it's so unfair. I bet he doesn't punish you for the odd barmaid. His barmaid's a punishment enough. Well, <laughs> you were okay. She looked like a man-eating carrot. 
She held all comers in arm wrestling at that pub for years. <laughs> Could so easily be Mike Gatting and the English cricket team. <laughs> but it was last the summer wine. Can you name the three actors? Um, Bill <laughs> Owen, I know. Yeah. Um, Peter uh, Salis. Peter Salis. Um, and Seymour. No. Michael no. something. Yeah. yeah. No. Crawford. No. No. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. sure yeah. that yeah. Michael, was it Michael? Yeah, Michael, I'll give it to you. Michael Aldridge. Michael right. Aldridge. Second question. Can you name these two actors who preceded Michael Aldridge? Um, Bates. <laughs> Somebody Bates. Michael, Brian Bates? Michael Bates? Michael Bates, Michael Bates, yeah. And the second one was a very well-known face. Very wild. Uh, wild. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll give it to you again. You're good on surnames, aren't you? Bri Brian Wilde. Brian Wilde. Brian Wilde. Okay, oh, Brian. that's okay. Very hard. Sylvia. Sylvia Sims, welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Your personal question here is a clip of a classic movie from a recently released video. Oh, what's the matter, honey? The matter what? You have such a strange expression on your face. Oh, I guess I'm a little tired. As well, why don't you take a hot bath as soon as I get off? Well, how soon is that going to be, Blanche? Not so terribly long, but that's your soul in patience. It's not my soul I'm worried about. A knowing look on your face. What's the film and who are the stars? A Streetcar Named Desire. Correct. Vivian Lee, Marlon hmm. Brando, Kim Stanley. Kim Stanley? Kim Hunter? Kim Hunter, sorry. Kim Hunter, Take that's fine. Part. That's okay. Marlon Brando, let's pick up on him. He appeared in Superman. How much was he paid per minute of screen time <laughs> for his role? Was it A, $100,000, B, $250,000, or C, far too much? <laughs> well, <laughs> I still thought C. I think it was the highest figure you could get to for the seconds on the screen. C, far too much. Well, I, could, I should give it to you. He was paid something that people would consider far too much. He was paid $250,000 per minute or $2,500,000 for 10 minutes on the screen. How much did you get paid per minute for ice cold in Alex? I got 30 pounds a week. <laughs> 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 Maximum points then for <laughs> Sylvia Sims. Linda, Linda Bellingham, one of our finest comedy actors coming up for you now. It's going to be really nice that is, isn't it? Eh? There'll, be, there'll be me standing there in my white tuxedo with a red rose in my lapel and I'll be swanning into the casino at Monty and there'll be this hush and a whisper will be running round the great salon. <gasps> Mon Dieu, that is him, that is Granville. He's a tomato stacker. <laughs> Obviously David Jason, but which series? Open All Hours? Yes. Now, David also starred in TV's A Bit of a Do, but which of these actors was originally going to play his part? Kenneth Branagh, Derek Jacobi, Ooh. Tom Conti. Uh, um, I haven't got a clue, but I'll, I'll guess. Mm. Tom Conti? Good guess, but wrong. Oh. Derek Jacobi ah. couldn't do the TV series because he was playing Shakespeare's Richard II and III on stage. Uh. Got great Quite reviews, similar, really. but yeah. less <laughs> money. <laughs> uh, well done, Linda. Nikki, you know all about wild and raunchy rock and roll. Oh, certainly, We understand, yes. yes. Especially mm. in Scotland. Take a look. Right. One thing I love is jobs for the boys. Who is this Glen Adol anyway? What's her credentials? Apart from being in a position to blackmail chum Vincent. Yeah, I see a big palooka. Cool it. We're not going to get anywhere getting physical. He started it. You know what you are, don't you? You're a moron. Always have been and always will be. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie Coltrane in Tutti Frutti. Can you name either of the other actors? And I think Chris Tarrant is jumping at the bit. Morris Reeves. Morris Reeves, yes. And uh, that was, I only have to name one of them. That's right? true. Yeah. Oh, yes, all right. Take it down to minimals <laughs> then. <laughs> Or Jake Darcy. Jake, that brilliant, Tutti Frutti, wonderful series. Didn't ask you to say that, Nicky. Robbie Coltrane recently performed a one-man show in which he played a great lexicographer. Who? Um, Dr. Johnson. Dr. Samuel Johnson, yes. Maximum points still for Nicky Campbell. Chris, your question. Three men linked by one song. Can you name the man that you see and the one you hear murdering the song? Because I only have Who did you see? Um, Art Garfunkel. And? Um, Powell, isn't he? Um, Dick Powell? Dick Powell, yes. Special agent. Who did you hear? Uh, sadly, I heard Arthur Mullard. <laughs> <laughs> this is now you spell Brenda. Um, yes, Arthur Mullard. So what's, that's correct, what's the link between I Only Have Eyes For You, which Mullard was doing there, and Art Garfunkel and Dick Powell? 
Um, it was uh, it was written by um, Garfunkel. He, he sang. He had a hit with it. He had a hit with it. Mm. We yeah. Know, we know. Well, yeah. Do I have to ask this for a bonus to they Nicky Campbell? It. They both they both made a single. I mean, it's a big hit. A big hit. Big oh, hit Garfunkel. Garfunkel. Yeah. Recorded and what about it? Dick Powell? Um, he liked it. He recorded it as well. He danced it. He loved it. He danced it, it and wrote it, it, wrote it and sang oh, yes, it. Oh yes, he did it. Recorded it, it and had a hit with it. Yes, yes, it. yes, yes, and yes, yes, yes. Dick yeah. Powell was the original hit. Certainly was. 1935 in the I'll film. This one. The film Dames. <laughs> And Art Garfunkel had a number one hit in 1975 and Arthur Mallard didn't sing it. And at the end of round one, it looks like maximum scores all the way, but not quite. We have in second place Gloria Hannaford's team on 10 points. Oh, no. And leading just two points up front on 12, Kenny Everett. <laughs> on this show are some laughs yes, yes. so round two here we go six pieces of comedy to enjoy questions coming up in a minute first of all linda bellingham no points for recognizing victoria wood and julie walters and you won't be getting points for that but you've also been looking at double glazing haven't you Marjorie? cheap double glazing joan with the emphasis on the cheap rather than the glazing mm -hmm. absolutely so, so what i bet we don't have to spend three or four or five thousand pounds keeping our homes draft free no so, so how do we go about it I'm, I'm sorry could you just move away your breath smells <laughs> but the question is julie walters played cynthia payne in personal services in another film based on cynthia payne's teenage years she was played by emily mm. lloyd what was the film's title oh I know, um I know. yes i wish you were here wish you were here and who is the female presenter of the TV travel show, Wish You Were Here? Judith Chalmers. Judith Chalmers, yes. When I went to see the movie, <laughs> went to see the movie, Wish You Were Here, about three quarters of the way through it, there's an old lady and man sitting behind me, and I just heard this voice going, well, when's Judith Chalmers coming on then? <laughs> Sylvia, over to a travel agent somewhere in Sketchland. Well, my wife and I, would like to see the Edinburgh Festival. Edinburgh Festival. Edinburgh Festival. <laughs> uh, how would you like to go? Uh, sorry, could you repeat that question? Yes. How would you like to travel? Don't know. Neither do I. What's the answer? Yes. <laughs> I am not asking you a riddle, madam. I am seeking information. Do you want to go by train, plane, or coach? No. no. <laughs> no what? Thank you. That's better. <laughs> yes, I know how he feels. How many of those can you name, Sylvia? Uh, John Junkin, mm -hmm. Tim Brooke Taylor, and the late, great Marty Feldman. Well done. Now, from one Marty to another, film of the same name, Marty, the leading actor won an Oscar for his role. Can you remember his name? Ernest Borgnine. Maximum points for Sylvia and Sims. Was played by Betsy Blair. <laughs> no bonus point, though, but well done. Chris Tarrant. Ooh. This is where we hand over to a new satellite station called KYTV, who are covering the dramatic events of an embassy siege. One of their reporters is talking to the terrorists. And how is your Arabic? I've had a lesson. And what can you say? Uh, Imi ishtar imana. What does that mean? My pencil is on the floor. <laughs> sure, well, I'm sure all you'll need when negotiating with blood-crazy fanatics is to be able to say, my pencil is on the floor. In me, ishta in mana. Oh, you're able to say it twice. That'll come in handy. <laughs> Do you recognize either of those men? Uh, the enormously talented um, Angus Deaton, who I saw him doing a one-man show with Rowan Atkinson a few years ago, which I paid nothing at all for the ticket. I'd like to thank the theatre very much indeed for making that possible. <laughs> As is your one. Oh, you could have named Michael Fenton Stevens there. Uh, Michael Fenton Stevens was the other one. On the left. Right. Yes. Before, what else do you need to know? Before moving to KYTV, those people involved ran a commercial radio station called... Oh, what's it called? That's what I'm asking you. They're the heebie-jeebies as well, aren't they? But what's it called? Radio thingy. Um, oh, how annoying. No ideas? Radio he Famous BBC series. Word and what lot, and I can't and, and Radio One, I think. <laughs> Bonus point at the other side. Oh, oh come on, it's radioactive. Radioactive. Radio Radio Active. Active. Nikki Campbell got the bonus point on? there. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Rough you. Really? <laughs> Let's put him on the spot with his own question now. We now move to the higher echelons of big business. Dear Mr. Povey, thank you for your letter of the 14th. I'm enclosing your application herewith as the vacancy has already been filled. <laughs> uh, Sorry I'm late, Brian. The traffic was an absolute pig. 
Oh, that's all right. I was just catching up on some correspondence. Yeah, it's good to get it out of the way, isn't it? Exactly. Uh, right now, should we crack on? Yeah, as I see it, there are a number of routes we can take. Yeah, care to listen for me? Sure. Um, <laughs> we can tackle the problem of uh, restructuring distribution lag almost immediately. Can I just interrupt you here? Certainly, Peter. Thanks. Pleasure. <laughs> they were? Um, Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie. Correct. Both of them appeared in different series of Blackadder. Can you remember either or both of the characters they played? Yeah, um, um, Hugh Laurie played the Prince Regent. He did, that'll do. And Stephen Fry... Oh, who did he play? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> it doesn't matter because you've got your score. Oh, I've got my score, that's but, it. But we want to put you through the pain of it anyway. Oh, um, Lord Nelson. Uh, Lord Melchit. Oh. Courtier to Queen Elizabeth I. Who played Queen Elizabeth I? Uh, Robbie Coltrane. And... <laughs> oh, come on. He should have done. He should have done. Oh. Fine, OK. Gloria. Right. Let's, <laughs> Let's awaken us all up. <laughs> Let's lighten the mood. We'll go to a prison cell. Oh, great. Who are those? Richard Beckinsale. Aww. Ronnie yes, Barker. Ronnie, yes, That's Porridge. exactly what we were going to say, yes. Talking about the young generation. They were. One of the dancers in the young generation went on to be a <laughs> presenter of Blue Peter. It's contrived. Do you know oh. who she is? Uh, where, where did she come in Blue Peter? What year? What vintage is she? Well, um, she was before your daughter. Oh. It must be Leslie she, Judd, then. It was Leslie Judd, yes. yes. No, that was not it? Yes. 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 <laughs> Another dancer in the young generation played Liza Doolittle in My Fair Lady and Bella Moriarty in Sherlock Holmes the Musical. I know this Who's she? She is Liz Robertson. She is Liz she Robertson. Is. Maximum points again for Gloria Hannaford. Yes. And finally, in round two, as they burn up the script here, <laughs> Kenny. Right. A scene from a recently released video for you. The film is Young Frankenstein. Mm. The scene is in the hovel of a blind hermit. Lot your ball, then. Oh, my friend, my friend. Mm. You don't know what your visit means to me. How long I've waited for the pleasure of another human being. And sometimes in our preoccupation mm. with worldly mm. matters, we mm. tend to forget the mm. simple pleasures mm. and the basis for true happiness. Mm. Well, do you think the question I'm going to ask you has anything to do with that clip at all? Uh, you're, you're not going to ask me who they are because that's too easy. Um, they went on, both of those people, to become Tiller Girls. <laughs> <laughs> and that was after they were Blue Peter presenters. Right. Yeah. <laughs> come, come, you're getting carried away. Simple question, who were the actors? That's the very thing we don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid. Who uh, are they there? We do, we know. Now, come on. Oh, do you come know on, this? You come know. on. Come on, come on you're a yes. bright young thing. <laughs> yes. Um, a pass, um, I think it's, yes. I might have to pass no, it for a bonus. One, we yes, we bonus point, point coming up for Linda. Bonus to Gloria Hunter for team. Linda, I think it's um, Peter Boyle and Jean Hackman. Well done, the monster yes. Peter Boyle, Hermit Jean Hackman. Mm -hmm. well, Back to Kenny, yeah, who played Frankenstein in the original movie. Oh, Boris. Uh, Boris Karloff played. No, don't tell me. I can see by the look on your face, you're going to give him sink me. Uh, uh, you know, uh, trick, well, trick question. Oh, ah, trick question. Ah, Boris played the th but Frankenstein was played by. Would you like to pass I'll give you guy. one point for Boris Karloff because he played the monster. You're quite right, yeah. but Frankenstein was played no, by. Linda, 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 I don't know really. Uh, Linda Bella Bellingham. Lugosi. <laughs> Bella Lugosi. Yeah. Bella Lugosi. <laughs> no, no. Oh, it's a point to me then, Colin Clive. Oh. Oh, Colin Who, Clive. they said in unison. But at the end of round two, the scores are extremely close. Just one point in it, 21 to Gloria Hannaford. In the lead, Kenny Everett and 22. <laughs> Nicky Campbell's becoming insufferable. He's now applauding his own team. <laughs> <laughs> Round three is a team we'll effort. <laughs> each team is going to see six pictures and hear two pieces of music. We start with Kenny's team. Now, the clue is each of your photographs is of a pop star who tackled a serious acting role uh -oh. in a movie. You have to name the star and the title of the film and identify the people you hear singing in the film that the songs came from. <laughs>
With a point for each star and <coughs> film, we'll start with face number one, the star in the film. Okay. That's Sting, and the movie was something I'm still trying to figure out, Dune. Dune, yeah. Yep. yeah. Number two, Tina star Turner. the film. Yeah. Tina Turner Mad in... Mad Max. Mad Max, yeah. Beyond the Thunderdome. Three. Well, Paul Jones, what we can't... Is that Hump Girls and Diners? It's a no, film it's a stage show for. he was in. Yeah. They didn't make a movie of that yet. Oh, or rather, they haven't made a movie of it yet. They didn't make a movie they of didn't, that They haven't not made a movie <laughs> yet. <laughs> no, no, uh, they know we. the answer. Bonus point. Oh, oh, bonus bonus point. Performance. Privilege. Oh. Ah. 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 Do they get deductions? Next one is Cher. Sylvia oh. Sims is getting competitive now. He's getting ridiculous. Four, the star of the film. Cher. Cher from Moonstruck. Moonstruck, yes, five. She's been in many movies. Five. Uh, five. Uh, Roger Daltrey, okay. McVicker. McVicker, yes. Six. Bob Geldof, The Wall. The Wall, correct. Who did you hear? What we film did it come from? Madonna from Desperately Seeking Suvin. Um, uh, Suvin. Suvin. <laughs> <laughs> Desperately Seeking Suvin. <laughs> Get into Phil the groove. Collins. Phil yes. Collins. Phil Collins. Two Hearts and Buster. Buster, yeah. Almost maximum points. Well done to Kenny Everett's team there. Right. It's 37 to 21. Glorious team's chance to catch up now. Mm. Another series of pictures and sounds. This time you're going to see actors who have made hit records. Identify the faces, the titles of their hits. Can you identify the two people you hear as well? Don't give up on us, baby. Lord knows we've come this far. Can't we stay the way we are? The angel and the dreamer who sometimes play Stars will shine tonight, one for the lonely. So it's one point it's for hard. each star, Gloria, and we think one we get for hard his or her hit yes. record. Ours are much harder, aren't Number they? one. Yeah. Clive Dunn and Grandad. Correct. Number two. Uh, Bruce Willis and Under the Board Walk. With The Temptations, yes. And uh, number three. Richard Harris and MacArthur Park, the longest single record, probably. This is getting ever so seven, good. Seven four. and a half minutes, to be precise. Felt a lot longer, though, didn't it? <laughs> Debbie Reynolds and long. Tammy, or lots yes. of other things. Number five. Don Johnson, who he, sang with uh, lots of things, but with, um, Barbara Streisand. Barbara that Streisand, yes, it? which was called... Song All About Love and... Oh, <laughs> unusual, that, isn't yes. it? Kissing. Uh, Don't get kissing many songs about love. Yes, yeah. in the charts. Running about just Great duet. Yes. Till I Loved You. Till I Loved You. Number six. Hayley Mills. Yeah, and, and it was... Oh, Whistle Down, Whistle Down the Wind. Whistle Down the Wind and Family oh, Way I and... Um, I don't think she actually sang Whistle Down the Wind. Um, she whistled, she whistled. She whistled, she whistled, she whistled Whistle Down and the Family Wind. Way she and the family all those way. Films. He told me it was <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I remember the line, he told me it was Jesus. I remember think that we film? know what talking about. No, I don't know what I'm talking about either. Right, what's the title of it? Let's get together, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, why don't you and I come back? <laughs> One bonus point to Kenny Everett. Let's get together, 1961. Okay. Who did you hear, and what show did they star in when they had the hits? Oh my God. Uh, David Soul, uh, Starsky and Hutch. Hutch. Starsky and Hutch. Richard Chamberlain. Uh, Richard Chamberlain. Dr. Dr. Kildare. Yeah, only two in it though. 36 to Gloria. Mm. 38 to Kenny Everett. <laughs> And this is the good bit. Everything to gain, everything to lose on the last round. 30 points up on each side here. 15 quick questions in 90 seconds. Two points per answer, but if they get help from any other member of the team, it's only one point per answer. You have 90 seconds to answer your questions. Who should we start with first? Let's go to Kenny's team. Oh. Sylvia Sims to start with. You have 90 seconds, starting from now. Who originally recorded When I'm 64? Beatles. The Beatles for one point. Nikki, Dudley Moore rated Bo Derek as 10, but who was the other female co-star? Julie Andrews. Correct. Kenny in 77 Sunset Strip. Who played Cookie? Ed Burns. Sylvia, Robert Vaughan, Horst Buchholz and Brad Dexter. Three of the what? The Magnificent Seven. Correct. Nikki, The Magnificent Seven was based on which Japanese film? Ah, uh, uh, the, the Samurai. The Seven Samurai. Lenny, who presents one man and his dog? Lenny? Kenny, sorry. <laughs> Stop the Still thinking Japanese. Um, One man and his dog. dog. Oh, and a pass. Phil Drabble. Sylvia, how many little girls sitting in the back seat kissing and hugging with Fred? Seven. Seven. One point. Nikki Campbell, who was Gene Wilder's co-star in The Producers? Oh, uh, Zero Mustel. Zero Mustel. Kenny, which Shakespeare play has the speech once more into the breach, dear friend? Hamlet. 
Henry V. Henry V Henry for one point. Sylvia, your own question. Who headed the Un-American Activities Committee that blacklisted the Hollywood Ten? Ronald Reagan. McCarthy. McCarthy. McCarthy for one point. Nicky Campbell, with whom did Kim Basinger spend nine and a half weeks? I don't know. I don't either. Pass. Mickey Rourke, Kenny, according to Paul Simon, how many ways are there to leave your lover? Fifty. Fifty. Sylvia, who played John Christie in 10 Rillington Place? Richard Attenborough. Yes, 10 seconds. Nikki, who had a hit with 25 or 6 to 4? Uh, Chicago. Kenny, in the BBC interlude film, how long did it take the train to get from London to Brighton? Oh, uh, uh, London to Brighton in... Six, six, six minutes. minutes. Six. six minutes. No, it was quicker than that. Good day on Southern Region, four minutes. Uh -huh. okay. And that means that the score there for Kenny Everett's team Ooh. was 20, 20 points out of a possible 30. Gloria has a very real chance of winning the contest. 90 seconds, starting with Linda Bellingham. Uh, how many of the 15 questions featuring numbers can you answer correctly? Linda, Pongo was the father of many puppies in which film? 101 Dalmatians. Yes, Chris, which juryman changed people's minds in 12 Angry Men? Uh... Pass. Henry Fonda, Gloria, which Shakespeare play starts with the words, now is the winter of our discontent? Numbers, uh, Richard the Third. Richard the Third, for one point. Linda, what was the name of the villain in The Third Man? The villain? Pass Harry Lyme. Chris, oh. they're coming to take me away. Ha ha, he he, ho ho. Was a hit for who? Uh, Napoleon the Thingy the Fourth. The Fourteenth, yeah. yes. Gloria, a hundred million miracles came from which musical? King and I. Oh, King, uh, no. Um, the flower drum. Oh, flower drum. Oh. Linda Lee Majors was the six million dollar man. His ex-wife was one of Charlie's angels. What's her name? Lindsay Wagner. Farrah oh, Fawcett. Oh, 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 Chris, who directed Eight and a Half? Um, was it Thingy? Uh, Fellini. Gary. Fellini, oh, right. for one point. Gloria, what 50s game show was based on noughts and crosses? Chris Cross Quiz. Yes. Linda, in which show was a girl 16 going on 17? Oh, um, um, uh, Sound of Music. Sound. Yes, for one point. Chris, who played the missionary Gladys Aylwood in Inn of the Six Happiness? Um, uh, Berg, uh, Ingrid Bergman. Uh, yes, Gloria, this company was the, theirs company was the, Three's Company was the American version of which comedy starring Richard O'Sullivan? Oh, um, uh, Robin's Nest. Man About uh, the Man House. Man About the House. Linda, who was the star of Five Easy Pieces? Jack Nicholson. Chris, Sheila Ferguson, lead singer of which group? Uh, Three Degrees. Gloria, what was the sequel to 2001? Uh, 2010. Yes, you've done your 15 questions in 90 seconds, but have you scored enough points? Let's take a look now and see. 18 yeah. points! Whoa! <laughs> oh, what a... No! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were all getting slightly overexcited there, I oh, feel. Dear, that means dear. at the end of this contest of that show business, we have Chris Tarrant, Linda Bellingham, Gloria Hunterford, second place on 55, and just three points ahead. It's Nikki Campbell, <laughs> Sylvia Sims, Kenny Everett, 58 points. <laughs> you won't find competition much hotter than that until you see the next edition of that show business. Do join us again. Bye-bye. <laughs>